Hello, Ubuntu team members and friends. This is Nate Ayers from Chihuahua Permaculture, and I am coming to you from sunny San Francisco. I'm so very sorry that I can't be with you all today, but I promise I have a good reason for being absent, and I'll talk more about that in a second. So Ryan has asked me to say a few words about permaculture, education, and how I came to be involved with the Ubuntu School. I first met Ryan Brown through the Anna Republic School's Green Adventures Camp when he asked us to come and share some of our permaculture-based curriculum with his students. Permaculture is a nature-based design system. We can use permaculture to create long-term, sustainable food, energy, water, building, transportation, and waste systems. The inspiration for permaculture comes from nature. Permaculture educators and designers like myself get to spend a lot of time in nature and we use that inspiration from nature to design small-scale community-based solutions. And this is one of the reasons why I'm most excited to be working with the Ubuntu School because I believe it is fundamentally a small-scale community-based solution to education. So I am thrilled that Ryan and the rest of the team at the Ubuntu School have made a decision to include nature awareness and permaculture as a foundational component of the Ubuntu School. And this leads me back to what I'm doing out here in California and why I can't be there with you all today. Part of my work with Chihuahua, I get to design brand new forests. But these forests are a little bit different in that they're designed to last for a long time, over seven generations. These forests are very special in that they provide for just about all of our needs as humans. Food, energy, fiber, fuel, medicine, you name it, just about everything we need can come from a forest. The words that we use a lot when we're talking about these types of forests is resilience. A resilient forest has a lot of different parts, from big canopy species to small little fruit trees to even tinier little berry bushes, all the way down to the mushrooms that are hanging out below the surface. The number one characteristic about these forests, however, is its diversity. Its strength comes from its diversity. Resilient forests are able to withstand shocks from the outside. So if one crop fails, there's another one there to pick up its place. So I'm out here in California as part of a very special team that is cloning and reforesting the oldest living trees known to humanity. We're building new redwood and sequoia forests that are designed to be here far longer than any of us could really imagine, beyond our grandchildren's grandchildren. And why do I bring this up? I think this is very much so related to what's happening at the Ubuntu School. We're all building a new forest. I know that the Ubuntu forest is going to have a lot of different parts, pieces, components, people, and species working together to make it strong, resilient, to be able to withstand anything that comes its way while at the same time providing for its students, teachers, and community members' needs. Each one of us that is a part of this Ubuntu team has a very special role to play the opportunity here to design a school that's built the right way from the ground up, integrated with nature, integrated with the community around it, and ultimately looking to serve the needs of every member of its community. The cool part is that this is how nature designs things. Nature designs things for abundance, for diversity, for things to be able to thrive in their environment. And I think that's some of the inspiration that's behind what Ryan and his team at the Ubuntu School are putting together. What's most exciting for me is that we can teach all this stuff to kids. They get it inherently. They understand that natural systems work together, provide for everyone, and create systems that are abundant. So what I'm most excited about is being able to teach this lens, this nature-based systems thinking, to all kinds of kids. We've done it with kids as young as three years old, and they get it. So to Ryan, Jackson, Hannah, and everyone else that's there as part of the Ubuntu team, I'm so sorry I can't be with you today, but I look forward to joining you as a small little part of the forest that we're all building together. Thanks for watching this short little video with me, and I'll be sending you all lots of warm, sunshiny thoughts from California. Take care.